Hello YouTubers! So, this is the package that I mentioned the other day. I just got it in the mail right now, so... We're gonna do an unpacking video part two. So this is video part two. And here you guys saw the sneak peek of what will be coming along in this video. In part one that I uploaded a couple, well, actually yesterday night. So I'm gonna open this carefully. Like I say, this utility knives are always good to have around to open packages. I have to work it in there a little bit. So you guys will get to see it. So and I know and before I open this box, you guys, I'm gonna have to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. I am almost at 100 now, and this is this pretty soon will be three years. The 27th of this month will be three years since I've been on YouTube. So I appreciate your support. And I know I've been getting a lot of video requests about intercom system updates and fire alarm updates. I cannot do it all at this moment, but I'm thinking about doing the fire alarm update in March. So you guys are gonna have to be very patient. This is not going. This is the be the last update for right now until maybe March or April. I know you guys are very anxious. I know you like my system, but I can't always, you know, buy everything. So yeah, can't always buy everything. But I like to look around sometimes. If I find it cheap, I will get it and make a video on it. So now getting back to this. I just open this up. Carefully open this up. My knife is a little dull, so I might have a little hard time opening this today. So there's the packing material, paper, just like the last one. And there you go, you guys. There's the new baffle, the one you saw in the video yesterday. The one that was in use at a local school. Here it is, you guys. The Atlas VP161 R8 horn baffle. Now, so you notice how smaller these holes are. And it actually, looks like you unscrew these. I, I'm gonna call these little nipples. Plastic nipples you screw on the horn. Just like that. So I'm actually, this guy is going on in the other room. You may notice the other one is quite smaller than this and I'll do a little comparison a little later when I get that off the wall. So it looks like little like protective screw nipples I'll call it. Looks very similar to this other, the other baffle. But, excuse me YouTubers, I'm sorry about that. So, got it down there. This is made for, I'm pretty sure, the 6-inch model. Yeah. So, there you go. Now, I did make a little mistake on that video review I made about that other horn. Now, that smaller grill was made for 8-inch speakers. So, they made these for 8-inch speaker versions and this for the 6-inch horn version. This is the one for the horn, and you may notice the little dots there. So, unfortunately, you guys, you saw in the last video, part one, this guy is blown. I will be fixing this, so not now, but hopefully around March or April. The diaphragm is bad in here, but I could take this all apart and change it out. Because I'm, they didn't say return or anything. They just gave me, they gave my money back for this. It was only twenty dollars, so which is nice of them. They just gave me my money back without any questions. And I did notice they hooked it up wrong, as you saw in the last video. So I could actually take this whole cap off and replace it. So why throw it away if I could fix this? I mean, Atlas makes replacement parts for their products, even their old products, 
So I can fix this. I'll, it'll be a little surgery video. And this is almost kind of like a tile type of material. See how I'm tapping on it? It feels like one of those tiles you lay in the floor, like in a hallway or something. It almost feels like it's that material, but this is actually some special type of metal, except this part is steel. This is a steel mesh. So, I will actually I'll keep on updating you guys on the how I'm going to do this. Now, I am going to have to make an extra back box for this. So, because this is slightly bigger than that other grill in the other room. Unless I can lay it in this box that actually went to the old grill, but we'll see. Or actually, I guess it'll, I guess I stay incorrect. It actually will fit. So I don't even have to make a back box today. Which will save me a lot of time. It's just a matter of reinstalling this. I will migrate the old horn in here. It'll be used in the other room. And that old girl with the back box, the black back box will be going up there right where this Cat 3 cable is at, which is already hooked up at the moment to that Radson amplifier, the foreign amplifier that I saw, you guys saw in the way earlier last year. I actually, it's gonna be on the same circuit with this Bogan and this Wheelock 34T speaker horn up there. Now, I'm gonna stop here and show you what I'm gonna use for that other one. Just until I fix this horn. So let me get, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so this is just a cheapo speaker that will be used temporarily in that other grill. I've actually stuck this in that grill before and it fits. Now, here's what I did, you guys. This used to have just a cheapo silver dust cap. I just spray painted it, lightly spray painted this with some Rust-Oleum satin spray paint. And I'll show you a camera, except it's in a different color. I got one of these universal paints, except that was black and it said sand on it. So, painted it black so you don't see that cheapo looking dust cap. The speaker works, it's rated for 4 ohms, as you can see. This will be in here for now, right up there. So apparently this guy will fit here just fine. So I will keep on updating you guys about the changes coming up during the course of this day today. So, And I'll try to get this part two up by later on because I know you guys have really been dying for this new intercon system update. I'm really glad you guys like these videos. I'm really happy. I have a small community of, we set a small community of collectors here. We collect this kind of stuff. I like to show you guys products like this and how I do it my way. So, I'll stay tuned for more to come for updating during the course of this day. Okay, YouTubers. So I got my old grill on the left here with the old horn. Here's a new grill with the new horn, well actually the blown horn that won't be used right now but soon will be used. So this is the way how Atlas was. Atlas actually made these grills just for 8 inch speakers but like I said you had to get a 8 inch to 6 inch reducer ring for these horns. And my school actually has quite a bit of these guys all around mixed with these newer guys here. So I'm going to take these horns off. You guys notice any difference between the two? Like the sizing and whatnot? You notice how this hole is just a bit smaller, this outer exhaust ring hole? And then you notice this ring is just a bit bigger all around. The paint is slightly different. This one's actually more of a yellowish white color. And this one's more of like a, like a real, I like to call it ghost white color. Now, I actually discovered that it came with uh, some of the mounting hardware. Now, these screws don't use ordinary Phillips or flathead screws. They use security screws. 
If you don't know what a security screw is, it's all it is is a star screw, but with a dot in the middle, like this guy right here. These are actually used for down here when you're mounting it to a back box like that guy up there. Like for exterior use, so like let's say it's installed in a school, like you saw in that video yesterday at the end where this guy was installed and in working at a school. Now that was actually a gym, and I did watch them install these in at the time. They have these star screws. These, this is a, those are like 2012 Atlas. They were made in 2012, I'm pretty sure. And I was watching put back boxes and everything. And they use these. Majority of the horns are like the school was built in the early 90s, so they used a bunch of these guys, a bunch of these smaller guys. With this older horn. In my high school I go to now. There's a bunch of these used everywhere. But then some of the locations. They actually have these newer guys. And this. You don't you can't stick 8 inch speakers in there. Unless you were to go the other way. Get a 6 inch. Again get a 8 inch to 6 inch reducer. Flip it the other way. And you could use a 8 inch speaker in this. But Atlas decided to come up with this new idea that people people were getting tired of getting reducers and getting the wrong parts, so they just decided to just make this six inch, so you can stick a six inch horn straight into this model here, and I'll flip it over and demonstrate it to you guys, like I did in the last one. Except this is this one; it's the old horn. It's all about lining holes up. You gotta be very careful here because you don't want to bend your your screws up. It's just a matter of getting it in there to perfect. It's sort of like that. You just slide it right in there and you're ready to go. Easy as that. You couldn't get any easier than that. Go. So I'm gonna pull this out, put it to the side. And actually, too, I need these special nuts. Yes, these are special nuts that a lot of intercom speakers use. You usually see these in Quam speakers, definitely Atlas speakers, Falcom speakers. Some Bogans don't use these special nuts. They just use regular nuts like this, as you all display in the picture. These type of nuts. Now, these nuts are special is because, you know, speakers vibrate. They produce vibrations. You know, what happens to the nut over time? It falls. It'll, the vibrations will knock the nut loose. These nuts are nice and secure. They don't get loosened at all. That's why these nuts are special. And they have that groove in there so they don't try to slide out. So, so I'm not going to retire this back box then. It actually will fit this back box. They just made the spacing different on this. I thought this would be slightly bigger, but it turns out they're actually the same, same length and everything. Width, same length, same width. This the spacing's different on these two, like around the edges. See, the spacing's more smaller on this one, and the spacing's much bigger on here. So, I will actually be installing this and then I'll show you the final product when I'm done installing it in both the workshop and my room. Okay YouTubers, so I finally got the Atlas VP161 R8 grill up on the wall here. Now this is actually the original back box it was there before so I ended up moving the other set into the workshop and while I was up there I was straining up some wires. So that's what the old Atlas wore and I was there before so Play this. I don't know if you guys can see. So there we go. That's all working. 
Depending on the time you guys all have been waiting for, paging to me. Cool on the four, thank you. So, okay, so this is in here. Now, you guys, you haven't heard about the new changes I've done with the system. Remember how I used to run the cable out from this receiver all the way out here? It's hardwired now, so. It's still up to the master output of this, but I ran a cable out here. There's actually two sets of cables. This bigger cable, which is thermostat wire. This is a five conductor, so I can actually intercom from the other the workshop now. There's two phones that you'll see in a minute. So, and I ran it out to the rocks, just the same way I did with the fire alarm. Just basically running out to the workshop. So let me stop this here. So this and is the workshop the now. This is the old Atlas EP161 horn, the horn grill. But except I stuck that eight-inch speaker I showed you in there. All controlling it here. With the back box too. Category 5 wire. And all the way up here. Tied in with this Wheelock 34T. From this boat. And yes, there's a phone in here now. So, this stamp still the same. I actually hardwired this down, so this goes all the way up here, down to this wall here, to this box here. This is where all the wire and everything's housed in. And here's that thermostat wire going up. It goes down, back to outside. Cool it on four, thank you. I'm turning it up. See? Can't turn it up too much because microphone feed, but... Walmart's closing in 15 minutes, everyone. Once again, Walmart is closing in 15 minutes. Yeah, this is the inner contest from the workshop. That is all for you guys, YouTubers. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you for the... Almost for the 100 subscribers. And one more up, and that's it. This is almost a three year anniversary special, which I will do. So, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And keep it, go keep it going, which I'm really happy for. So see you guys all later. Stay tuned for more.